everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do 2018 January readings for all Zodiac signs. Have a great new year. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Uh, there is a slight price change coming for the new year. It's not that bad. Not that drastic. And that's in the info box too. This reading is going to be for Capricorn. Let's see what's shaking with you in 2018, January. Wow, Capricorn. Ooh, they're going to be off to a rocky start. Let's find out. At the bottom of the deck. Caps, you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is the Entrepreneur card. The Business Owner. The Good Solo card. This person doesn't go without. Heck, she even bought a falcon. So let's see how that applies here, Caps. We're going to start off with the Ten of Wands. Now this is taking all your knowledge, all your know-how, all your burdens, and moving forward with them. Tens being at the end of a cycle, Caps, you can lay these burdens down. And what's crossing to help or hinder you get nine swords to go with your ten wands. This is agony. This is worry. This is overthinking. This is overanalyzing something so much, Caps, that you're losing sleep over it. Perhaps it's due to these burdens. Wow. Caps, it's like in, you're being in your head. It's like something you you don't let go. You keep on carrying it. Well, like I said, Caps, tens are at the end of a cycle. You let go of these. Now, in your foundation, Caps, you have the seven of wands. And this is somebody defending themselves, but they're on higher ground. This one's got his wand across his chest there. He's going to guard his feelings. But he can back up everything he says. Can the other six wands? Caps, it's like you're defending yourself. Defending your burdens. Hmm. Now, Caps, what's crowning your reading here is the Ace of Cups. Holy Grail of Love. Caps, you get to have a brand new love. This is the universe giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. And, Caps, that crowning your whole reading, you get to dub these worries, dump these burdens, and start a new cycle. The moon is about cycles. And they're clearly on top of this card. So, starting brand new. Now, in your recent past, Caps, you have strength also known as the Leo card. This is being courageous, being brave, taking on the unknown. Caps, maybe in the past that it took guts to carry this much weight. 
these might not, not even be all your wands. You could be carrying somebody else's. And again, they're going to end. Worrying is wasted energy caps. And that too is going to end. So, you need to stay strong. Going into your future, Caps, you have the Four of Pentacles, known as the Miser card. But, but to me, this card is somebody who's not saying something. They're keeping something to themselves. Either how they feel, they're not expressing themselves, they're not sharing their thoughts, ideas. And that kind of goes with the next card, Caps, how people see you. You got Major Arcana, the Hermit. It's about isolation. Seclusion. But he's the seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out, Caps. He gets it on his own. That way he knows it to be true. It's about trusting your intuition. Now, the, her the Hermit is isolated because he chooses to be so. If people are seeing you like this, Caps, they're seeing you as a little bit closed off, withdrawn maybe. Caps? Withdrawn? When you have this opportunity? Caps, don't let that happen to you. Have the strength and have the courage to persevere and move forward with your head held high. Now what's in your, in your environment here, Capricorn? You get another major arcana. Ooh. You have a tower. Now this is something that comes in so hard. It comes in fast. You don't see this one coming. It's going to blow your mind, Caps. That tower was built on faulty foundation. Caps, a lot of times we keep ourselves in situations that are no good for us. And whether they turn routine, we get used to them, we accept them. This is the universe saying unacceptable. And coming in and blowing this structure apart. Why, Caps? So something better can be built upon it. Bam. These are gone. Whoosh. These are gone. Bang. For your new love. The way it's supposed to be, Capricorn. Now, in your hopes and fears, you have the five of wands. This is petty arguments, babble, gossip, secret. Not everybody being on the same page. You have a lot of wands here, Caps. But this is not, you're obviously fearing, because nobody hopes for not seeing eye to eye somebody, you're fearing not seeing eye to eye with someone. Maybe you feel like you always have to defend yourself. But Caps, not saying how you feel, okay, doesn't rectify anything, especially if somebody wants to know what's on your mind, what's troubling you. Don't close off. Caps, don't keep it to yourself. And especially if this has got to do with a love ship. It could be a friendship. You know, a business partnership. Any ship. You need to express yourself so the other person knows where you're coming from. To allow this to come in. 
and be genuine. Because, Caps, your outcome card is the Queen of Swords. Now, here's your Gemini, your Libra, your Aquarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. She's analytical. Her emotions take a back seat. She's all about the mind. She's clear. She's precise. She's direct and to the point. She doesn't play games. So Capricorn, if you're dealing with someone like this, okay, holding back and not speaking your mind and being clear is not the answer because this is what she wants. She wants truth. She wants clarity. Capricorn, she probably wants this love with you. So keep your communications open, Capricorn. And it's the way to lay down the burdens and start something brand new. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.